this week is uh, the Mirror Mirror Challenge. It's using on mouse press, um, and it also does a little something with calling a function that's inside of another function. Um, so here's the skeleton code that I'm giving you. Uh, you're not to change the draw face function. You're not to change uh, line 13 or 14, but you are supposed to add one single perfect line below here uh, in order to complete the challenge. So let's just see what this does first, the skeleton code. When I run it, um, I have two functions, a draw face function, which I imagine is gonna draw some sort of like face. Uh, and then the on mouse press function, it's going to actually call the draw face function with the mouse X and the mouse Y. So instead of typing in all of these things into the on mouse press function, um, you know, I, I just type in draw face and it'll go here and it'll pass mouse and X and mouse Y into the X and Y for my draw face function. The reason why I do that is because the next um, line over here, which I'll give as a little hint, is just one other draw face function call. And it's just like the exact right thing to do with that function call, the exact right inputs. Uh, so like I said, if we run this right now, when I run it anywhere I click, it's making this smiley face. Now what you're supposed to do is just add one line to on mouse press, one draw face function call even as a bit of bit of an extra hint there that will, instead of just drawing a single face, instead of just drawing a single face, I'll come over here to the canvas that the solution's on. And whenever you draw a face, it should draw the mirror image of that face. I can do it on the left side, it'll draw it on the right. If I do it on the right side, it will draw it on the left. So I'm only clicking in the one spot, but it is drawing it on the opposite side. Now, one thing worth mentioning here, I'll get this pair down over here, um, or I'll, I'll add one extra pair here. Let's make it at one, let's make it a 100. That might make it a little easier for you to understand. So I'm gonna click 100 right over here. If I hold control, I can see, all right, I was at 100, 378. And all of these are gonna be kind of relative, right? If you look at, if you look back at the code in the skeleton code, I use the X and Y on the mouse press, and then I just change the Y a little bit for the smiley face. I change the X and the Y a little bit for the eyes. You don't even need to worry about how that works. The important part though, is that I drew this face first. It was at 100 in the X. If I look over here, it was at 300. So you say, all right, maybe I do, um, as I do the next draw face, maybe I do a mouse X plus 200. But then the issue becomes, all right, well, what about this face? I was at 123. 123 plus 200 would be 323. It's 277. So it's not exactly what it is. But what I want you to do is to, and I'll kind of slowly go through these matching faces, 143 to 257. 52 to 348. And hopefully as I show you enough of these, you should be able to find the pattern. 115 in the X to... 285 in the X. Hopefully you see a pattern, 140 to then 260 in the X. And all you gotta do is just add that one extra line here, the one perfect draw face with the, uh, with the perfect X input and the perfect Y input. And it's definitely still gonna use mouse X, mouse Y. It's still based on where I'm clicking my mouse. It's just not exactly the mouse X, mouse Y. So good luck with that and a solution video will be coming out in a couple days.